Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. And it, it is truly best of us, not just Kerry. We're a tribe. We're a group of people who try to work together to make better investment decisions. And what this video today is about is about the tribe and a, a member of the tribe, uh, James Barton, who wrote me several emails relative to what I tend to call the healthcare revolution. And his, his initial inquiry was, Kerry, you made a video some time ago where you talked about a gentleman uh, who wrote for Forbes magazine uh, by the name of Clem Chambers, who said he was basically a value investor and never invested in long-range technology, and that he had discovered uh, a new technology and two stocks that were going to be a part of his portfolio for the rest of your, his life. And he asked me, he said, could you tell me what, when you published that and, and give me a link to it? And so I did. I found that I had done that video on September the 6th, a follow-up on an article that, um, that Clem Chambers had done on uh, August the 24th. And what he had done in that article was uh, Clem was basically say he was investing in CRISPR and Editus and putting it away because he knew that they were going to change the world he lived in. So that was the article that or, uh, that that uh, James was was referring to, and um, so uh, he then also sent me some links to two other articles that he had found just currently that he wanted to share with me. And, and why I'm doing this is I want you to understand the depth of what I call our tribe, uh, a group of people that meet at our Discord. We regularly have Zoom meetings, and we don't discuss so much what's happening in the market today, but instead what's happening in the future and how it's going to change our lives so much. So I think it's important, and I want to share the articles that uh, James sent to me because they're very current, and I think they're going to open your eyes up to some things. And then James has some anecdotal stories as to why he chooses to invest the way I invest and the way he invests. That's what this video is about. I think you're going to come away with it and say, Wow, I had never thought about that because I also want to reflect on some other things that have just recently happened, and that was last week's appearances of Kathy Woods on CNBC and what I learned from not so much Kathy. I knew what Kathy was going to say, but the attitudes uh, and the investment strategies of the people within the Wall Street Inside Group. And I'm speaking now of Jim Cramer and Josh and, and Marilyn and some of the other commentators on there that we follow and we respect. And we, I really got some insight, and I want to talk about that as well. But first of all, let's get this I'm not your financial advisor out of the way. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, um, I want to first focus on James's conversation with me through the email. Um, he shared with me after I uh, shared the, the article with him or the, the, the video with him that he's actually been in CRISPR since uh, uh, 2018. And he said it, he, he, he got involved in CRISPR because of something that happened to him in 1999. He had done a lot of research on an up-and-coming company by the name of uh, Amazon. And he had come across, and, and he was really strong on Amazon. And, he, and in 1999, he came across a Barron's article on Amazon. And he says, I remember very vividly the article showed a picture of Jeff Bezos in the article. And he says, and I read the article, it told me, um, that probably Amazon wasn't the thing that he should invest in, even though all his personal research had told him that it was. And as it turned out, the article came out 
um, on a, a Friday, uh, on a Saturday, right after Amazon had closed the day before uh, at fifteen dollars a share. Well, it opened the next Monday at eight dollars a share, and by Friday was back to five dollars a share. And James said it convinced me at that time that the the smart guys on Wall Street, the people from Barron's Magazine, knew better than I did that I was wrong to think that a company by the name of Amazon who was in the, in the book business had some potential. He said, well, I slept on that for a number of years. And then I realized as I watched what I thought was going to happen to ha Amazon happened to Amazon, and it turned into a multi-billion dollar corporation, even a trillion dollar corporation, that the people on Wall Street don't really know what they're talking about. They don't have the insight. They don't use the proper tools to, to look beyond 90 days or 180 days or even 365 days. They just don't play the game that way. He said, so uh, I adopted an attitude that I was going to do my own research. I was going to do my own reading. And he said, as a result of that, in uh, 2018, um, quite a few years later, he says, I came across a company by the name of Moderna. And I liked what I saw. He says, I found that they had about 24 drugs in their pipeline, and it looked like they were going to go strong. So, so, I, so he says, I bought about 2,000 shares of it at an average price of $12.34. Figure that out. It means he, he put about $25,000 into Moderna in, um, in, in, 19, in 2019. Well, by 2021, Moderna was up to $450 a share. So his 25000 turned into 900000 And he said, <clears throat> I realized that that's the way to invest, that you do your own research and you figure out not who's making the biggest markup right now or or who's who's uh, beating the drum the loudest or getting the best press coverage. You do your research and you find who is going to change the world you live in. And he says that's why, in fact, he's very pleasantly um, watching what's happening to CRISPR and Editus and such. So then, then he sent me to other articles. And this is really where the power of the tribe comes in. I never would have found these two articles. One of them he sent me was on um, sickle cell anemia. In fact, it was published on February the, the 20th, 2022. And it tells the story of a young man by the name of Jamie Ogle here, um, who, who had been fighting sickle cell anemia for years. And uh, he was put into a study, and they took him into the hospital, went in and got into his bone marrow, took it out, put, put a CRISPR um, uh, therapy onto his bone marrow, allowed the CRISPR therapy to go into his bone marrow in a Petri dish and extract all the sickle cell anemia infection that his body had in that petri dish they then went back in and put the bone marrow back that the treated bone marrow back into his body and the sickle cell anemia took care of itself and it was gone a, a wonderful story but i never would have found that if if jimbo that's what he goes by uh had and you might recognize that name jimbo barton um if Jimbo hadn't sent that to me, if he hadn't been a member of the tribe, if he didn't have my email address and say, take a look at this. Then he sent me another one. Uh, it, was, it was written on uh, February the 19th of this year, and it tells about CRISPR's use uh, 
to to uh, replace the mutation against Alzheimer's uh, by doing cell editing. And what it basically says is it's almost a reverse therapy that they have found in some people's bodies they have a mutation that gives them a 65% chance greater chance to live to 60 to live to 85 without Alzheimer's as opposed to the rest of the general population and that how by going into the body with CRISPR and extracting that mutation and then using it in other people's bodies you can find another way to use CRISPR and the CRISPR science to cure um, uh, Alzheimer's. This is the kind of stuff that excites me. This is the kind of stuff that then even excited me more when I related it to what I had seen on CNBC and the grilling of Kathy Woods by both uh, the interviewers and then and then their little gatherings where they throw stones at Kathy that she 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 runs a a uh, 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 ETF where she foolishly discloses her trades every day so people can trade against her and she ends up with a astronomical positions in stocks and how foolish she is for doing the way she does. Jim Cramer in an interview basically called her an idiot. Uh, and this is the same Jim Cramer who four years ago went into an interview and admitted that as a trader with a large um, financial firm actually manipulated the fund, the, the funds and the trading to to take advantage of retail traders. Now he is calling Jim. I hope you see this video and realize that you are a part of an institution that works to take money away from people. You might as well be own Caesar's Palace in in Las Vegas that is totally dedicated to take money away from people, and you even chastise people who come forward and say there is a better way. Don't play their game. Invest with a five-year horizon and look to the future and say, who's going to change the world we live in and invest in them? Just like Moderna changed the way we lived and and... James went from 25,000 to 900,000. Why does Jim Cramer and Josh and, and Judge, all the CNBC talking heads, don't want us to take advantage of that? Because they're supported by Wall Street. Don't you get this? This is a rigged game. So that's kind of my rant on that. But I did want to do one other thing. I wanted to share that I believe in this. I so strongly believe in this that I have 25% or 20, little over 20% of my portfolio. It used to be 25%, but it's gone down into this. And I want you to have the advantage of what, what uh, James Barton and, uh, and I, who've done research, and I want to share these articles that James sent me uh, with you so that you can read them and you can come to your own conclusion. And then I want to share with you this. Uh, this is a, a, a chart that I put together of my holdings in this space, in the genome sequencing, in the genome therapy, in the AI pharmaceutical, in the, in the protein sequencing, uh, I, d I want you to participate in this if you believe it's right for you. So I've put a link in the description down below where <clears throat> if you'll connect to it, I'll send you in a download these uh, one, two, three articles that um, I've referred to as well as a, a the listing of the stocks that I own, how many shares I own of each, how, what the value of each of my holdings are, and if I'm as lucky as uh as not as lucky as brilliant 
as uh, as Jim was in his buying of Moderna, twenty five thousand turning into nine hundred thousand. Um, I'm going to do quite well on my one hundred and seventy nine thousand nine hundred and seventeen dollars and sixty three cents. Do I believe they'll all hit it big? No, but at least. I'm not playing the Wall Street game. I'm not eating their, drinking their Kool-Aid and then wondering why I'm throwing up. Um, no. Kathy, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry you got roped into that. And um, there are some of us out here who still believe in you and believe in your, you taught us the words uh, disruption, um, now destruction, technology, technological disruption. I'm, I'm an apostle, um, and I'm proud to be an apostle. And I would ask each of you, check the link, do your research, and if you're an apostle, come join the tribe. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs>